everyone, welcome to First Baptist Church Children's Sunday School online program. Let us worship our Lord together. us to learn more about you through our Sunday School online program. Help us, Lord, in understanding. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Guys, life is full of challenges. What about you? Have you got challenges in your daily life? Of course, I believe you had it. Like sometimes, you know, when we want to join the run race, if we want to win, we have the challenge to beat another participant. So, some challenges is hard. Some challenges is light. Such as trying to beat a record or improve a skill. When you want to improve your skill, you have to work hard. You have to practice hard so you can beat other people. What are some challenges you have chosen? You may write on the commentary column below and you can tell us how you can overcome the challenge and how you can beat a record or improve a skill. Today, I want to tell you a story. Listen carefully. There is a girl named Alejandra. Alejandra's grandmother was very sick. And Alejandra was afraid. Alejandra loved her grandmother and didn't want to lose her. So, she did something she had learned to do in Sunday school. She prayed. Though Alejandra's parents were not Christians, Alejandra had been attending Sunday school at a local church in their small town in Mexico. A caring teacher had taught Alejandra that she could pray to God in times of difficulty. So Alejandra began to pray. 
and she encouraged her parents to pray too. Soon, the whole family was praying together for their grandmother's health. God heard Alejandra's prayers. Her grandma is feeling much better now. Alejandra has learned that she can trust God and talk to Him, even when she's worried or afraid. And that lesson had an impact on her family and her teacher too. How do you think you might respond to the type of challenge Alejandra faced? Yes, we also have to do the same thing like Alejandra, right? We have to pray and we have to trust God. Today, we are going to see how Peter, one of the disciples, was faced with an unexpected and exciting challenge, one where he had the resource to press on, but he let himself get distracted by fear. Let's see what would have enabled him to do the unbelievable when he was challenged. Jesus walks on the water. Immediately he made the disciples get into the boat and go on ahead to the other side while he dismissed the crowds. And after he had dismissed the crowds, he went up the mountain by himself to pray. When evening came, he was there alone. But by this time the boat, battered by the waves, was far from the land, for the wind was against him. And early in the morning he came walking towards them on the lake. But when the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were terrified, saying, It is a ghost, and they cried out in fear. But immediately Jesus spoke to them and said, Take heart, it is I, do not be afraid. Peter answered him, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. He said, Come. So Peter got out of the boat, started walking on the water, and came towards Jesus. But when he noticed the strong wind, he became frightened, and beginning to sink, He cried out, Lord, save me. Jesus immediately reached out his hand and caught him, saying to him, You of little faith, why did you doubt? When they got into the boat, the wind ceased, and those in the boat worshipped him, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. So guys, Peter walked on the water when he believed Jesus would enable him to do so. When his focus shifted to his fear of the wind and the waves, he took his eyes off the source of his strength, Jesus, and he began to sink. Like Peter, we can have strong faith when we keep our eyes on Jesus. Why do you think we often give in to the fear and defeat even when we know the perfect and all-powerful God can help us with any challenge we face? You're right. The anxiety we have, the fear we have, it sank us and it make us afraid of doing something that we could do with Jesus. Because our focus is not on Jesus, but our focus is 
on our fear. So, whatever your situation now, especially during the pandemic COVID, when everyone scared, afraid, still keep your eyes on Jesus. So we can feel peace, we can feel calm, we can get the knowledge of following the health instruction. We can also take care of ourselves as God gave us wisdom for it. But if you feel your heart, if you feel your mind with fear, then it won't work and you will fire away from God. Remember always that through Christ, you can do all things. Commit to zooming in your focus on Jesus and not looking past him at the things that want to overwhelm you. Keep Jesus at the focus, not the challenges. So remember all the time to put your focus on Jesus, the one who will give you the strength to endure any challenge. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for your message today that remind us to always keep our eyes on you, keep our focus on you. So we know that with you, we can go through our life day by day, month by month, year by year, especially in this pandemic time. Help us, Lord, to be always focused on you so we know that you will never leave us. You always protect us and you always give us the strength to overcome the situation. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Help us always to strengthen others in your way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, guys. Thank you for today and see you next week. God bless you.